Hi, my name is Holly Cheek and I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawkridge Systems. In today's video, we will be covering programming a corner slot automatically and manually in CamWorks. We will also touch on the air segment offset feature. I currently have a corner slot shown on the screen. First, I will be programming this automatically. I'm going to be using the Extract Machinable Features from the CamWorks tab in the Command Manager to pull all of the features for me. I can then generate the operation plan and generate the toolpath, and it gives me the toolpath for that corner slot. If I look at this toolpath, I can see that it is coming off of both edges here. That way I know I'm gonna be taking my tool away from the edge a little bit and then coming back around to enter in that material again. Let's see how CamWorks did this in a more manual way though. So I have the same part just in a different document here. And to program this manually, the first thing I need to do is insert a new mill part setup and confirm that I'm in the correct direction and I can say OK. Next thing I need to do is just a right click here and we're going to insert a new 2.5 axis feature. We need to define what feature type we'll be using, and we'll be using a corner slot. Then I can select this bottom, the floor face here. Then I'll hit next again, and this is my end condition dialog, so I need to select this top face, that way I remove all of the material that we can see in this highlighted segment. And the strategy that I will be using for this, just a rough and finish strategy. I'll hit next again, and this brings me to another option dialog. This shows me the different profile segments that I have for my corner slot. I have segment one, which has the open air edge toggled on, and I can see it highlighted in green on my model, just that first segment that I can see. Segment two, one more on the left there, that's also highlighted green, and it's toggled on for the open air edge. I look at segment three, it's the back one there, and that open air edge is not on anymore. Segment four, the open air edge is not on anymore, as well as segment five, that open air edge is not toggled on anymore. This is what is going to tell CamWorks that I actually want to take the tool slightly off of segment one and segment two by having that open air edge toggled on. From here I can just hit finish and I get my feature. Let's close out that dialog because I don't need to add any more features. So I have that rectangular corner slot feature. Let's generate the operation plan on it. Then I can generate a toolpath for this and looking at that ref mill toolpath, I can see that I have the same toolpath that we saw in the automatic feature recognition of CamWorks. Now this toolpath is coming off this edge and you have the option to define how much it's going to come away from this edge or if it's going to stay in it. To define this is just a double left click on that ref mill and that gets you into the operation parameters. On the feature options tab in these operation parameters at the very bottom, this is where we get the air segment offset and it's a percentage of that tool diameter. So if I want that to be larger, maybe even come off the material a little bit, I can make it at 110%. And when I hit preview here, we'll actually see it update that toolpath there. So once I hit preview, it updated it, and now it's going to be coming further off the model. That way I will not be running the tool along the actual geometry. So if you do want it to come completely off and then back down and around and then enter into the material on the other side, you have that option with setting that air segment offset. In today's video, we covered programming a corner slot automatically and manually in CamWorks. We also looked at the air segment offset feature that you can get in those operation parameters. Thanks for watching.